Hi, my name is Vaishu, and I want to talk to you today about something interesting and important called composting. Why is composting important? Because composting is an activity that prevents uneaten food, food scraps, and other trash from adding to the problem of global warming. Actually, composting is an easy and fun way to help solve the global warming or climate change problem. I'm going to show you why and how you can compost your uneaten food scraps instead of throwing them in trash where they become a problem for the planet. So, pay close attention. But first, I'm wondering how many of you are already composting at home or have heard of compost? I keep a compost pile in a container in my backyard. Me and my family really enjoy seeing how our kitchen and backyard waste like potato peels, apple cores, and my coffee grounds slowly disappear and turn into beautiful dark compost like this for our garden. Okay, so what is compost? Compost is a result of work of billions of small organisms called decomposers that break down organic waste. That means waste from nature. What are decomposers? They are small creatures or organisms, and these organisms are some of the most important living things on Earth because they consume. Yes, that means eat. They eat all kinds of waste and help recycle that nutrients and energy from waste into soil. Decomposers can be grouped into two main categories. Microorganisms, the one we need a microscope to see, and macroorganisms, things we see with our own eyes. Microorganism decomposers are things like fungus, bacteria, and nematodes that eat the fungus and bacteria. There are billions of microorganism decomposers in just one tiny scoop of soil or compost. The macroorganisms are probably more familiar to you. There are earthworms, red wrangler worms, soy bug, or raleigh poly bugs, beetles, and centipedes. The decomposers eat up, break down, and decompose dead organic matter like animal waste, leaves, and food scraps. Can you think of things in your lunchbox that these decomposers might want to eat or decompose? How about the lettuce in your sandwich, your unfinished apple, or even the napkin? Napkins are made of wood pulp from trees. That means they are made of plant material just like leaves. So the decomposers would eat that too. When decomposers eat the food and plant waste, they are breaking it down. This process is called decomposition. It is nature's way of recycling the elements that are in plant material, like nitrogen and carbon, back into the soil where they can be used to grow new plants and food. When we compost, we're creating the perfect happy place for decomposers to live and eat and multiply so they can eat up our food waste and other plant-based trash as quickly as possible and make a material called compost. But what can we do with that compost after it's made? Glad you asked. Farmers need compost to put on their fields and crops to grow healthy food. Gardeners and landscapers use it too. And even if you make compost and don't use it to grow food or flowers, it is still a very important and helpful thing you can do to love and care for the earth. But you may be thinking, this sounds cool and all and I want to make compost, but I still don't see how composting is helping to solve global warming. You see, when we throw our food waste and other plant-based trash into garbage instead of compost, it goes into the garbage truck to a landfill. A landfill is an enormous stinking pile of garbage. There are thousands of bags of garbage. And in these giant piles of garbage called landfill, there isn't enough air for the decomposers to live and eat waste. So instead of turning into compost, rotten food and other trash in landfills turn into a slimy toxic sludge that causes serious damage to our air and water. As Amy said in her previous video, when we send food waste to a landfill where it has no air to decompose, it creates a powerful greenhouse gas called methane. Remember, our planet already has more than enough greenhouse gases to keep some of the sun's heat around to warm the earth. Adding more and more greenhouse gases like methane from landfills is very harmful to our planet. Today, scientists and community members are using what they know about compost to help solve global warming. Several schools around the country and many home gardeners have start, started composting. Also, scientists and engineers are working on making more things like phone cases and toothbrushes biodegradable, which means you can add them to your compost. By now, I hope you're wondering just how you can start a compost pile for your food scraps and yard waste so you can prevent pollution from landfills. Take a look at this simple recipe for composting. First, find an area outside on the ground or in a bin to make your compost. If you use a bin, it needs, to, it needs to have lots of air holes, like this, for the air to get to the decomposer. Then you make layers using your food scraps, which are wet ingredients, and about double the amount of dry ingredients, like cut up newspaper, leaves, or grass clippings from the lawnmower. 
Once you've made a mixture of these two types of materials, wet it down to get the decomposition started. Then about once a week or so, mix or turn the compost pile to get the oxygen flowing to the decomposers. Composting is a fun hobby because even if things don't seem quite right, like your pile gets too wet and soggy or too dry, there are very easy things you can do to correct it and get those decomposers back to munching your food and old homework again in no time. When we create a compost pile, we create the perfect place for decomposition to happen. Unlike the landfills, which is the only perfect place for greenhouse gas pollution to happen. So remember, make compost, not methane, and be a food waste hero today. Bye!